I got a real simple little tip. It's kind of a philosophy that I think will really help. So many of you, so many of all of us actually, are kind of a little afraid to hit a shot over a bunker. You're next to a green, you're getting ready to hit a shot over a bunker, and you're freaking out because you're gonna hit it in the bunker or skull it or worse. So let me give you a little philosophy. You know, it's funny, when they make bunkers, they actually cut the bunkers out below the surface of the ground. And so, so many people that I teach, they wanna try to lift the ball up in the air to get it as high as they can because they gotta go over the bunker. Well, let me tell you how I, I learned this and it's kind of my philosophy about getting the ball to go over a bunker. Remember, you don't have to go over anything. What you need to do is you need to hit the ball solid and you need to hit it the right distance. And seeing as how we're close to the green and we have a little shot here that's, that needs to come up over this bunker, I'm gonna hit a 60 degree sand wedge to hit the pitch shot that I want. But remember, I'm not trying to go over anything. All I need to do is hit it the right distance. So guess what? It's just a pitch shot. So from a short distance like this, very little hand action, make sure you brush the grass, keep the club moving towards the target, you'll hit a pretty good shot like this. Boy, that turned out awful good. I'm not trying to hit the ball up in the air. I'm not trying to scoop it and lift it and help it up. It's just a regular pitch shot. Make sure I brush the turf, hit it the distance you need. I bet that's gonna help you. Because I got a 60, that ball went plenty high enough. Good luck. Remember, less hand action, brush the turf, just hit it the distance you need. I bet that'll help.